What is going on people? Welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you the top 5 best glitches which you can use in the Corn Patch 1.2 on Cold War Zombies. So if you enjoyed, drop a like down below and if you are new around here, make sure you subscribe down below and turn the notifications on. So the first glitch we have for you is on Maldatotan and this is the rooftop glitch. Now after the recent patch, if you were to do this, obviously as you can see that the zombies do pile up underneath you. Now after around 5 seconds they will start to throw their guts at you. So I can only recommend kill them as soon as you can. Obviously, you'll have a little bit of time to do that. As you can see, that they do run around a little bit. But just be careful. Like I said, they will throw their guts at you eventually. However, moving on from this glitch, we have one on 5AC. And this is coming in fourth position. So in my opinion, this is okay for going high rounds. The only thing is with this glitch spot, mimics and manglers will be able to push you out of this glitch. But obviously, zombies won't affect you at all. Hellhounds won't affect you at all. So it's just the bosses and unfortunately they do spawn in quite often in high rounds. So I'd recommend using it in the low rounds, getting your score up and going from there. However, from this glitch we have the Firebase Z spawn skip glitch also followed by the Firebase Z spawn glitch. This is obviously where you do the walk in and all the zombies jump from balcony to balcony. In my opinion, this is probably the best if you want to go for high rounds because the zombies don't affect you at all. In my opinion, if you're not too bothered about camos and you want to go for XP and obviously go through the battle pass tiers, I'd highly recommend doing this glitch spot because like I said, nothing affects you. Mimics also do pile up in front of you as well. So you can actually go for camos a little bit. Also, if you notice there where I'm shooting, where the zombies do jump up, you can get easy headshots. But obviously if they are jumping from balcony to balcony, it can be very hard to kill them. But I'd recommend using dead wire because obviously if, when they are all bunched up together, it will act like a wonder waffle and all of them will die pretty much straight away. Anyway, moving on, we have the second best glitch. And in my opinion, this is the steel cage glitch. Now, this could have easily have gone third. But in my opinion, if you are going for headshots and if you are also going for high rounds, this is very good as well. Obviously, it's on the map D machine. It's not on fire base E. So the only boss you have to deal with is the Megaton. Now, obviously, when he spawns in, this will be in the pack punch area. If you have a ring of fire, it will pretty much die straight away. So, in my opinion, this map's obviously a lot easier to fire base because you've only got one boss compared to two. And, like I said, you can get loads of XP from doing this, loads of headshots because the zombies are literally underneath you. So, this is why, in my opinion, this is going second spot. However, the last glitch spot I have for you, and in my opinion, this is the best one overall, which you can use is the under map glitch on D machine and I highly recommend getting a DIE machine. Now if you're not too sure how to build that, there are videos on my channel where you can have a look. It's really easy to build. I think you can get it by like round 10 as long as you've got the map open. But basically how you do this, you need two zombies behind you like what obviously I did. Have a few stims just in case they do are about to down you. And all you need to do is go crouch prone, crouch prone just in front of the basket, obviously, as they are hitting you. And if done correctly, it will glitch you underneath the map. Now, sometimes it can glitch you, like, sort of halfway, like what it did for me. Just let the zombies kill you. Obviously, you're not going to use your self-revive because nothing at all, even the Megaton, will be able to damage you underneath the map. You are literally in god mode. And the reason why I say use the DIE machine is this. Because look how efficient this is, guys. You don't need, obviously, any AR or anything like that. But if you do, there is an ammo stash. Just there, obviously, you can replenish your ammo and go very high rounds. Now, I did say just a second ago, nothing will damage you. The only thing that does, sorry, are the plague hounds when you kill them. And obviously, they release the gas. But that won't do too much damage at all. You'll probably lose about 10 to 20 health. But yeah, people, I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Obviously, I know these are the top five glitches. There are probably more that you may prefer. Obviously, if you're looking for those, look at my previous videos. I've done all D-Machine glitches, all Maldatos and Firebase C. So make sure you go and check those out. I really do appreciate your support. Make sure you drop a like down below if you have enjoyed today's video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, take care.